So yes, beginners like us, if you're a beginner, come closer, come closer, let's talk what is going to help our channel grow. It's actually work. I mean, most of us see all these content creators online and be like, it's not just to just take a photo and make a video and post it online and then it goes viral. But actually, making a video, coming up with the idea is not easy, trust me guys. And then you have to edit. So we're gonna skip all the welcome to my youtube channel part and just get straight into it because this is an impromptu video actually i didn't actually like plan it i was just like on my own and then i was having this creative work and um this idea just came to my mind like a more content creation like i'm not the only one thinking about a lot of us that want to go into content creating either has youtubers or has influencers has content creators on ig i'm just gonna give my two cents on what to think about content creation okay i started content creating like a very long while ago i started from tiktok and um i like making tiktok videos until around early this year i thought about like taking it to youtube and um ig taking my ig and youtube more seriously because yeah tiktok was not giving the kind of engagement i want i mean i was getting views and everything but like i needed engagement engagement is different from getting views i get to relate with them that engagement the comments on your videos and um, you know like you guys feel the connection so i wasn't feeling that on tiktok because tiktok is just you know we all know it's just for views i wanted to go into content creation where i engage with my audience and that's why i picked youtube so starting out as a youtuber um to be very honest i didn't think it was going to be that hard but all I, all I was just thinking is that okay once you just have a good phone which is what most I, of us are most of us feel like we are being held because we don't have a good phone we don't have a good camera and that is why we don't make nice content but most of the time you like well let's get straight into it before i give you guys like why we're going into it i'm going to give you guys more on my thoughts on what i think about content creation and also my tips on how you should grow as a content creator i mean you'd have heard this a lot from most youtubers advising your line yeah, when I actually tell YouTube, I watched a lot of YouTube videos like how do I go about content creation, how do I go viral, how do I get more views and all that. Yep, so I'm not going to be telling you based on what I heard from all those content creators. I'm going to be telling you based on what I think, based on my experiences from making videos. I mean, from my three months now as a content creator. Yep, I did this content, I started YouTube three months ago. I actually want to delve more into movie making like acting and um, producing my own movie in the future I'm not talking about this year I'm not talking about next year but I want to do it and I've wanted to make content for a very long period of time now but I've just been thinking like first of all is the strength sometimes you're just so tired like you have those ideas you want to make those content but you're just so tired to just get up and just do the fucking thing say like stand up but I don't really have that strength. Sometimes you don't just know what to create. You feel like, okay, I have this content, but where I am is not allowing me to do it. I need something more spacious. I need a background. Like, I, need, I, need, I need this. I need that. I'm not a successful content creator yet, but at least I know, and I know I'm getting there. So I'm trying my best. And I'm just trying to share this secret for beginners like me, people that are starting, people that don't know what content creation entails or what it's all about. I'm going to emphasize very much on them. Um, content creation you see all those subscribers you get from i mean those subscribers you get from like people that just see your content on their feed and they watch it and subscribe from that content those are your main real followers and not even the ones that you even share to in your whatsapp or other platform i'm also you should not share your content but i'm telling you who your real fans are are those ones that watch your content on their feed and subscribe they don't know you from anywhere they don't know you from adam but those are your content, or let's say, those are your contacts on WhatsApp. They probably know you, right? Either personally or like through online, but they know you. They know, yeah, this is Sophina. We talk on WhatsApp. We view each other's status. We like, we are kind of like acquainted. So you just share your link to them and they click on it and subscribe to your YouTube channel. But I'm telling you that your real followers, those people might enjoy your content. For your main subscribers, your main audience, are those people that see your videos on your on their homepage and then they subscribe to your YouTube channel because they like what they're seeing, they like what they're getting. 
so first of, like i said posting consistently consistently like you need to keep posting like i said youtube is a long run something youtube is not like okay i wake up in the morning i create one mark or then i post and i'm getting k views it's not like a short term something it's only a short term something it's like when is celebrities you know they post their content and um you know they already have that followers on a different platform maybe ig or tiktok so i'm talking about beginners like us that don't have that followers or audience on tiktok or instagram we are growing on all social media platforms so people like us we need to be posting consistently because it takes just one video to blow your channel or rather what i said youtube checks algorithm you get so when you are posting consistently they keep expanding your video to more and more and more viewers yes it's not easy to post consistently i'm like i'm a testimony it's not easy to post consistently because i mean making content is not easy to be very honest because you don't just wake up in the morning and just create content you need to like gather ideas you need to script together you need to like make sure it goes in front then editing is not fucking easy it might just be like okay this is a simple you be editing and you just check the time three hours have gone be like what i spent three hours in editing yes it's that hard like i said keep posting keep posting it just takes one video one damn video i don't think i've made that video yet but i'll keep posting till i make that video that is going to take me off secondly what i think help young content creators is um originality you're not copying somebody's content it's your idea you came up with it like you thought about this thing and um you scripted it out like the originality your own what you think your idea your opinion yes most people like listening to other people's opinion on other things but you're not saying this because somebody else said it you're saying this because it's what you personally think the originality helps a lot of young content creators you're not doing what somebody else has done yeah i know this video a lot of people have made many videos on how to become a content creator how to become an influencer how to get be a great youtuber and all that but like i said this is my idea this is what i think so i don't even actually have a lot of tips but the main thing i just want to like cite is that as young and upcoming content creators and youtubers we really should not give up yep we should just keep going i've met most youtubers from online platforms that are making youtube and then they just go off the grid for like more than a year be like youtube is trash like it's very stressful like i have to make videos and then it's not getting viral i'm just getting like 13 views and um little or no views you get see aside grace eh most people have grace that they post videos and then they post consistently for one year and they get up to like 20k subscribers and then there's a lot of people that post consistently for three years and they're still at 1k subscribers this is not only just about grace but it's understanding the youtube algorithm understanding how youtube works believe me i don't understand how youtube works because i've gone online i've made research i've thought about like <sighs> what the hell do you want from me youtube like take this video up but i don't have a problem with that because i'm not posting only for views i'm posting because i know that this content creation i'm making like youtube is not my final stop you get if you are posting and you're with the mindset like okay once i have many views and subscribers i like what you just need that views and subscriber and everything it's very hard for you to like make it because you just be like oh i'm not getting the result i want and you just get tired and just dump youtube but i'm going to talk about me personally i'm posting because I feel like YouTube is a stepping stone to what I actually want. It's a stepping stone to where I actually want to get. So, whenever I post on YouTube, I'm not getting what I want. I'm not that bothered because I know that in the future, there might be a certain point in time where probably I get to where I want. A lot of people, a lot of my fans then want to make reference to what I have been doing. And then they come check your YouTube, they check all your previous videos, and then those videos are blowing up. Yeah, the videos are that one year later they are blowing up and they're viral. So they want to check what this person has been doing since a throwback videos and all that, and then all those videos are popping up. But if you're somebody that you've not been doing anything at all, 
you post a video and you're like oh you're not getting what you want and you're just stopping or you delete it because it's not getting more views sorry for you it's going to be kind of hard for you because youtube like i said it's not a short term something it's a long term something you have to keep up with it you have to keep up with youtube you have to keep going consistently you can make a lot of mass content and just keep it for like you know yeah like that's what i advise and that's what i actually like, kind of like do i make content and just keep them my phone and when it's like my youtube is due for a video i post it most of the videos i post are not like recent get a bit like since but i'm just like posting it so what i'm just saying is that youtube is not a short term something it's a long term something so if you do youtube look at the long look at what you're gain what, what you're going to gain in the long run and just keep pushing yeah you'll definitely get there push yourself remind yourself of the, of the dream remind yourself of what you want to be what you envisioned to become then tell yourself there's no fucking time then there's no fucking time get on your fucking feet and go do it all right